He's so good. You're not gonna drop me any loot. Rude. In this tapestry of a world, I am the road yeah. thread. Okay, let's uh, leave. This was a nice little detour that I was forced to do. Back to the map. I wasn't really forced to do it. I chose to do this myself by taking a uh, dangerous route. Hello there, more enemies of humanity. Love that for me. You are fully repaired, so that should be okay. Ooh, that's eight plasteel. Um, that is a lot of plasteel. It's hard to say no to that, even though I've only got two extractors left. Let's fight these guys. I mean, he's not getting any younger, but he is the ultimate Batman voice, where the ultimate live-action Batman will, is Heath Ledger. Oh, it's Aldari. The hell are you? You look bigger than usual. These guys launched their little torpedoes. This is my ally. I'm more of a fan of Marvel heroes, but DC villains. Yeah. This might be a mistake, but I'm I I want to ram this up. Can I not ram him? Oh man. Ramming speed! The oh. is known. Get booped. <laughs> what? Uh, though I'm probably gonna have to eat these torpedoes because of it. <laughs> I kind of don't mind. <laughs> it's just worth. It's such a meme doing that. Engage the macro cannons. Let the these macro won't be able to turn around fast enough. Uh, that's a good question. How long have we been going so far? I mean, I've already been going for nearly six hours today. So maybe in like another hour or so. Yeah, I did four hours of Dyson Sphere program earlier. And it is getting rather late. I need to get some food. <laughs> I'm going to eat the fuck out of those torpedoes, though. Okay, you kind of reduced the torpedoes, so that should be less damage. Thanks for that, support fleet. Oh wait, they didn't move. Huh? Alrighty then. Put that on. Set course. Really shouldn't be pointing forward. We gotta reset the shields. that on him try and hope of killing him because they just keep spawning decoys okay 50 damage um being forced to the right watching he's out of range more torpedoes from them that's gonna blow up 
That's going to blow up. The number underneath them is the how long they'll be, how many turns they're alive for. Oof. Yeah, we have less movement right now. Go there. Engage the macro cannons. Good shot. Commence the symphony of macro cannons. Let the macro cannons sing their twisted song. Oh, they just constantly miss, 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 miss. Oh, he's just out of range. Well, that sucks. Um, forward shields have regenerated, which is great. Cover to the left. Might as well shoot them. Damn, you came close, sir. Oh no. Oh, ally took that like a champion. If you follow him, you're going to get hit by these as well. He's going through my hull every all my shields every time. Forward shields. Unleash our fury. Okay, that took two of his decoys out. Initiate macro cannon barrage. Oh, okay. I have to go to the end. Damn it. The fact that I have to do that kind of buggers me. Can we just go there? Yeah, we can. Cool. They got a little bit too close to you, friend. Forward shield's down again. Uh, I should be able to turn around and hit him. Oh, I actually ended my turn like a dumbass. I hit space. No, I'm throwing. Humbug. Set course. Lance. Let the macro cannon. Okay. Yeah, he's still trying to gain on us. 
Oh, you run now. Good damage, good damage. Void Master, if you please. I did it again. I just need to keep my hand off the space button. I use it to, to, to skip through the, these turns that just take forever. I'm just resting my hand on the space bar is apparently enough to trigger it. And off. Silly boy. Engage. That's no mercy for the enemies of humanity. If you please, unleash our fury. Commence the symphony of macro cannons. Engage the macro cannons. Initiate macro cannon battle. Nice crit. Okay. The destination is known. left it's gonna hit me it's fine another victory for yep that's also a level up dynasty. first off let's get a good repair there hmm I need this one. Improved rang. Ram, not rang. Jesus Christ. Just twice the da additional damage for an extra trial traveled. No firing penalty. Okay. Oh, more scrap. 50% less scrap. That's actually pretty nice. Hmm. Yeah, let's go 50% left scrap for repairs. I now I just wish I had repaired. I hadn't repaired yet, but you know, that's how it is. Oh, Adamantine 22. Not a lot. There's a banished space hulk there. It's a little, little babby one. No, uh, two plasteel, not worth. Ooh, Xenotech. We get this so rarely. Actually, we have none of this. I have to mind that. No choice. Shard ruins have, det have been detected on the planet's surface. The architecture, bu um, the architecture building materials layout and passage betrays their Xeno's origin. There are currently no signs of Xeno activity on the planet. Well, considering we just fought some. Run a detailed scan. Burnt husk of the Imperial shuttle has been found in the ruins. The pilot remains are badly damaged. We've seen the shuttle smashed into a building at full speed, causing the fire to destroy it.
Mm, has found the remains of a martyr who sacrificed themselves to protect humanity. Proposes to erect a monument. Yeah, let's do that. Druzing. Okay, cool. Go to the Space Hulk. Vigilant member of the Augur crew has detected a small Xenos vessel. Ship is unpowered and shows no signs of being crewed. Send a boarding shuttle. Frozen laid waste to the hull of the ship's systems, which led to the death of the entire crew. This, the interior is full of Eldari corpses. No weapons can be found. More dead from our craft world. Well, it's unfortunate. Let's make that a little bit safer. I don't want to find anything right now. <clears throat> An unidentified object has been located in the system. The artifact reacts to our transmission by releasing unknown radiation, most likely a Xeno origin. The cogs are reporting. Uh, sorry, yeah. If you want to get a closer look, we'll need to get need to close the distance between the vessel and the object. Okay. Is that a cross world? That thing's massive. The craft world looks more ship-like, but also the size of planets. At the very least, the size of a planet. Hmm. First... It looked like snow in desolate planet, devoid of surprises, but the yellow and orange flickering of lumens and notifications uh, from the August syst system informed the officers of a small colony survived in spite of the harsh climate conditions. Then a scouting party of dismal conditions on the settlement and its inhabitants. Their skin is translucent and pale. Their icy blue eyes see uh, practically no color. Their language is rough and guttural and their stomachs cannot come, tolerate anything except uh, a stew made from local roots and mosses. Why not what happened? Local elder woefully reminisced about uh, times long ago, most of them still sheltered in their mother's wombs, and the snow first uh, settled on the verdant fields. Hail ruined the crops, okay, plants and large beasts that could not sustain themselves were first to go. He said the governor and his entourage left the world in the first days of winter, taking all the provisions and fuel with them. No one responded to the pleas the, from the dying world. The stars remain, uh, the stars remain deaf to the messages transmitted by the planet's Vox station. And give them some Prometheum. Yeah. You've remove some fuel. That's fine. I have tons of that stuff. The more the first generator belched uh, forth a furious roar and black ash started falling from the sky and instead of snow, the locals laughed and danced, trying uh, to warm their limbs after decades of cold. They called down blessings upon the savior, a rogue trader from the Van Valesia's dynasty, and thanked the god emperor for the fortuitous encounter. Oh. Okay. Cool. Want Prometheum? Not really. Saving this bit for last. Oh, hello. Ship components. What do we get?
Or is it just a trade ship component thing? Probably, okay. I should be able to use these here, but it won't. Alright, I'm saving before going anywhere near this bloody thing. Uh, bridge, we have an unknown object dead ahead. Not an asteroid, clearly artificial in nature. But it's larger than footfall station. Bridge, copy that. Report uh, relate to officer on duty and pilots. Expect visual soon. We have visual. What the incoherent whispering? Look out! This is the box. Uh, look out! This is the box master. I'm adding the. Hmm. Oh, apparently I just passed this bit. It's a webway gate. Conversation. Van Kalox here. Uh, what we see here before us is the webway gate. An artifact. I just said that. An artifact that the Xenos used to um, that sort uh, what to get their sorcery realm, or sorcerer's realm, so to speak. Uh, it allows Adnari to get around the sector quickly, and it serves as a hideout for the most unpleasant tribe. Oh, the Dark Elves. Gotta go have a great stream. I appreciate you stopping by, mate. Sorry for the slow response to that. Uh, it allows the Adnari. I've never read that. Officer Station, you're really here. This gate is just like the one you saw on Lilithan. Uh, the children of the Asaran, the Eldari, wander the void through such constructs. Erected in ancient times, any ship that passes through such a portal will enter tangled paths uh, fathomable uh, to none but my kin. Is there an auger report? According to the data available, the object consists of unknown material. Are we whalebone? Um. Registering an unknown class of energy profile. The energy seers are at loss about the, uh, the how this technology works exactly, but they did specify the ergonometry suggests that the system is holding an active charge. Okay. Any officers take on this? Oh, okay, that's the same thing. Okay. We activate this, activate this device somehow. Requesting response from the engineering. Uh, apologize, apologies, Lord Captain. The tech priests have refused to even consider such a possibility. Okay. Perhaps a certain companion of yours could. Even if I knew the secret of this gate, I would never surrender it to, uh, to a monkey. Okay. Well, you're you're no help. I don't want to destroy it. Yeah. Changing course. We're moving out. Okay, I don't want to attack that. That seems like a horrible idea. Mm -mm -mm. Doing anything to make these jumps just a little bit easier for me. Uh, the clan servicing the cooling system to report an incident of sorcery. The shadows in the cabins and the corridors are coming to life. The voidsman uh, saying strange right. Oh, see strange writhing things a lurk in nooks and crannies okay the power ordered the monsters to be banished by faith and prayer oh, the ecclesiarchy mission on board of the voice ship held sermons in every corner of the haunted chamber the many voice chants and holy uh, rituals manifested their power nice. cool Seven plasteel. Ooh, it's counting. You check my, my building progress. Oh, that's a land thing. Oh, I was hoping to do this real quick. Because I'm actually about to call it. 
I'm just super hungry right now. It's ridiculous. A small planet uh, gently wrapped in amber forest greets you with a ruby-colored dawn. Basil von Dem, uh, local governor, gives the rogue trader a warm welcome. Several glasses of Demison. The smelching ruler is uh, asked if the one says would like to keep him company during the upcoming hunt. Accept the offer. Well, as a riding, uh, the, the local peculiar am animals, uh, you may camp. Of the Golden Forest. Basil points to the sky. A flat disc rises over the horizon, constantly morphing its colors and shapes. Governor nods with satisfaction, and and a few shapes uh, step into the clearing. Their bodies are twisting by an unknown phenomenon. You watch the freaks uh, with astonishment as they begin to dance to the throaty clacking of their brethren, turning the bony bro gross and pulsating flesh to a, uh, their scaly hands towards the unnatural thing in the sky. What's going on? Governor smiles coyly. You're about to see with your own eyes what is happening here. Watch in silence. The unfortunate creatures howled, whined, and convulsed, uh, unable to tear their bleeding eyes from the ce celestial body. When the penaline disc outshone uh, even the light of the local star, the uh, physical shells of the things that used to be men burst, releasing beasts into the plane. And not even the most fluid and capable pen could describe. Bazal excitedly explains that the creatures you saw are children of the great king of distortion. It is he who, who is the true god and the patron of the fertile. Oh! Execute the governor on the spot. The governor head separates from his neck with a distinctive squelch. Black and brown blood seeps into the soil. Yeah, you return to the ship pondering what, uh, in the world, or more importantly, what to do with the king of distortion. Order your crew to chart a course for the yeah, nominally known as the king of distortion. Senior officer observes suspicious activity emanating from the twisted celestial body of the heart of the system. Chaplain advises you to get ready for a potential encounter with the spawn of the arch enemy. Playing with a plethora of colors, the distorted celestial disc trembles slightly beyond the endless windows on the captain's bridge. The road trailer ship approaches at the center. The otherworldly voice, cold and envelop uh, enveloping, enters your mind. What a puny wretch uh, possibly off What could a pu this puny wretch possibly offer a king? Uh, the officers on the bridge look around, perplexed. Their eyes are full of terror and confusion. Many have clutched their heads and let out long howls of pain. Some of their st uh, some empty their stomachs. Take some ship damage. Mask the NC to release their minds of the uh, amber worlds from its grip. In mocking laughter rings out in your ears. Eat red trickles slowly down from your nose and over your lips. Order a shipwide thousand voice prayer service. Holy relics for protection. Deafening gong strikes a uh, herd across uh, the hundred decks. Your eyes are misted with red. Your gums bleed as subjects fall to their knees all at once. The shared prayer to the god emperor. The holy relics from the ship's temples melt from the ardor of your speech. And the entity screams and rhymes inside your brain, struggling to break out. Many drop dead during the minutes, uh, first minutes of the prayer, unable to resist the corruption. However, others immediately take their place, unfazed by the sight of their fellows turning to dust in seconds. Then a nauseating stretch, uh, stench engulfs the ship's decks with like a wave, causing people to retch uh, forth uh, their innards. Oh, lovely. Finally, every deck is plunged into darkness. Ghost of the past walks among the living. Stealing the breath from those uh, weak of spirit, and still the prayer is not extinguished. It's Christ. It is hard to tell if the prayer service has lasted several hours or several days. At some point, you feel your very essence overflow with heat and power, and then the intruding, uh, and then the intruding will will uh, will falters. Uh, the distorted disc vanishes from the 
worship augurs as if it had never been there long last everything's quiet as everyone slowly recovers from what just happened reports begin to come in from the captain's bridge you lost a third of your crew all hell the jesus christ Mm, proclaim yourself the sovereign of the amber world yeah at the moment the world belonged to the world trade alone your people eradicated the settlement's housing of the end king followers of the profane cult yeah demand a tribute Uh, okay. Whoa. More plasteel. Eh. Reporting about the disaster, ghostly Xenos figures have appeared at dusk and go away at dawn. In the remnant swarm, they attack one uh, agricultural facility each night, freezing everything they touch. Uh, the attacks take place in, in the complex closest to the uncontrolled sector of the planet, where nature itself has turned against us. Fortunately, not too many facilities were damaged. Our uh, yeah, irreconcilable struggle has moved the borders of the affected sector. Important production lines have survived. Why does this think... After some of the events that have taken place on the ship, I got interested in ghosts. On footfall, I brought a book. A legal one, of course. Describes a so-called ritual of silence. It's, uh, do you know what? After your last thing, I don't trust you. Hmm. No, let's let's try and rely on Jay a little bit here. Lost a profit factor. But a group of suspicious characters covered in talismans has arrived, Janice. After seeing the dance of the ghost firsthand, they confirmed, then made a short trip into the jungle. They later returned, their number diminished, loaded with uh, ancient Aldari ob obelisks stolen from the ruins. Locals have called the obelisks installed in the agriculture blessed miracle. The energy re uh, re oh my god resonance of the obelisk has formed intangible domes uh, by providing the shelter against the wraiths. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to call it there for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit a follow button. Otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, as per usual, everything I do gets uploaded to YouTube. Link in the chat right there. I'll be back.